Today we name the daddy of all veggie patties. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now Labor Day is right around the corner and Labor Day is not just the best time to get that mattress you've had your eye on. No, <laughs> it's more than that. Labor Day means staying home from work, meeting up with friends, lighting some charcoal and grilling, not barbecuing, right. some juicy hamburgers. But did you know that some people prefer to eat hamburgers that aren't made of ham? Huh? Or any meat for that matter. You can throw a dart anywhere in LA and you will hit a vegetarian, yes. which you will then need to take to the hospital. Right. Of course, when I throw a dart, wherever I'm at in LA, I just hit Chase. Yeah. I don't know how that happens. Is he a vegetarian? But you know what, we got good news for you vegetarians who haven't been hit by a dart. We're about to taste the hottest vegetarian burgers on the market to name the best of the best. It's time for, I don't think you're ready for these veggie burgers. So we're gonna be tasting the eight top veggie burgers that are available most widely in stores so that you have the opportunity to taste these after us. And you may notice that we're not tasting the Impossible Burger because that is available at this point only in restaurants. Mm -hmm. So we're doing the ones that are available in stores. However, we're gonna take our winner from this and pit it against the Impossible Burger in Good Mythical More. So stick around for that. But now, let the tournament begin. For the quarterfinals, all of the burgers we'll be tasting are Labor Day style, AKA they have been served on buns with ketchup and mustard, lettuce, onion, and tomato for you, not for me, because yes. I don't like no tomato. First up, we have the Boca All-American Classic Meatless Burger. Uh, this is the only burger we're gonna be tasting that is not vegan because it's got cheddar cheese in it. Look at that nice little patty. And that is going up against the Morningstar Meat Lovers Vegan Burger. Uh, their website says, this juicy quarter pound burger tastes and feels so much like meat, you might just think it's the real deal. Hmm. Now just to clarify, we're not gonna judge these based on how much they taste like meat. I'm sure that might just which help one we like us the like them. It's just whichever one is the tastiest. I do, I do best tend to experience. think that if it tastes a lot like meat, I am gonna like it. But this one doesn't look as much like meat because it's very light brown. There you go. Oh, yeah, this has I tomato I want you to have it. your tomato. Dink it, bank, and eat it. Toasted bun. I can't help but when I bite into a burger, I expect to eat meat, so that's gonna be mm -hmm. on my mind. I'm saying that the patty's kinda hard. Well, uh, yeah, it, it's not super tender. It's a little smaller than this one. Look at that one, yeah. The morning star. Makes it all the way, it peaks all the way out. Dink it. It's got a more distinct flavor, but I don't think it's a better flavor. It's not a better flavor. Mm -mm. I I strongly feel, I strongly feel in general, mm -hmm. uh, that the Boca All American Burger, and it might be that cheddar cheese coming through, tastes better. You're exactly right. All right, it's clearly Boca tastier. It's moving on. <laughs> All right, now we've got Dr. Prager's California Veggie Burger. This Ooh, thing has doctor. Carrots, peas, broccoli, and spinach. Mmm. <laughs> All right, we're going All together. Going up against Amy's Sonoma Burger. So this is like the California matchup. Yeah. Cal Sonoma is in California. I've heard of that. Um, it's a region, right? Is this it a is, desert? I don't know. It's made with organic veggies, quinoa, and walnuts. Gluten free, dairy free, soy free. Yeah, that's what they eat in Sonoma. Free to be eaten by me. Walnuts. The Walnuts of Sonoma is All one right. of my favorite novels. It's a, it's a romance novel. <laughs> All right, carrots, peas, broccoli, spinach. It looks peaish. It's the patty is green. Peaish. Garden peaish. Please clarify. You're talking about garden mm -hmm. peas. Um, mushy, very mushy. Mm -hmm. Kind of like it's just a vegetable mush. It tends to disappear in the Labor Day burger configuration. I had to go in for a second bite just to try to taste it. Let's see what Amy's tastes like. Looks more like a burger. There's no greenish hue to it. It tastes more like a burger. I like knowing that it's got walnuts in it. Just knowing that, being such a nut fan. Yeah. <laughs> Big nut fan. But the taste is not overwhelming. Um, but it does top the doctor, I it gotta does. say. Congratulations, Amy of Sonoma. You, you don't need to be a doctor to beat the doctor. Nope. 
All right, this is the Garden Burger Black Bean Chipotle Veggie Burger. It says here that the first three ingredients are brown rice, onions, and black beans, or brob, as I like to refer to those three things as. Brob? Yeah, it's got brob. All right, and that's versus the Garden Chipotle Black Bean Burger, which the first three ingredients are black beans, brown rice, and veggies, gluten-free with an authentic Chipotle seasoning. Authentic? authentic. Are you sure it's authentic? Yes, I actually can smell a little Chipotle here, and this is the most economical burger, okay. AKA the cheapest one we're gonna be trying today. Okay. Um, it's a little darker Now there's black that. beans in both of these. Warning. For later. There's you, something to this one. Can you taste the spice? The brob? Mm-hmm. I can really taste the brob. And there, there is a nice spice. A nice spice. Yeah. I do like it. It's not burger-like at all, but it's it's tasty. Now, the authentic Chipotle of this one combined with the economy of it. Wow, man, it really is authentically smelling like Chipotle. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh. I see corn floating in this patty. Man. Not the first time that's happened. Super mush, though. It's got a super mush thing going, but it's got a great flavor profile. This is tough. I would argue. Argue it. The Chipotle is overwhelming. Too it's much? too much. You can't have too much Chipotle. Compared to this one, which has a little less, but you 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 enjoy it and you feel rewarded by noticing it. And this is just, it's, it's kind of like it's forcing itself down your throat. Chipotle! Tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm wrong. Just tell me something. I think you're right, Link. Yeah, it's milder, it's, it's, but. It's got a better consistency. It's, it's tasteful and tasty. It is. So the Garden Burger is moving on. <laughs> Okay, for the end of the first round of matchups, we have Hillary's World's Best Veggie Burger. What is it, Hillary's or the World's? Uh, it's corn-free, dairy-free, egg-free, gluten-free, nut-free, and soy-free, which raises the question, is it taste-free? <laughs> well, it also raises the question, what the heck's in it? Uh, it looks like a chicken patty. It I'll, does. I'll say that. <laughs> it <up> does. <laughs> well, it's got, it's got millet, quinoa, and coconut oil, and sweet potatoes. Yeah, lots of good stuff. Versus the Beyond Meat Beyond Burger. Did I say beyond enough? Twice. That's how it's worded, man. This is a plant-based burger. Uh, 20 grams of plant protein per patty. The primary huh. source of protein is peas. And I'm told that sometimes it will bleed because of the beets. And if that ain't appetizing, I don't know what is. So it's got a meat-like quality to it. Uh, it's also the most expensive burger that we are testing. That's today. right, Rhett. Well, let's go with Hillary first. Hillary! It's, it's a, what are those corn patties, polenta? It tastes like polenta. I forget a polenta patty. Hillary, this is not a burger. <laughs> Hillary, if you took two of these and made them the buns and put a burger in the middle, that would be a good idea. Call them buns. <clears throat> really <clears throat> Veggie buns. Polenta-like. <clears throat> I really like it, but it's almost unswallowable <laughs> with all of the bread with it. Yeah, I feel like it's going to just, get lodged in my throat. Mm. Drink a lot of water if you're gonna have this. Now I'm gonna see if I can squeeze some beet blood out of this thing. Nope, not gonna happen. Maybe after you bite it you can do that. Looks very burger-like, I will say that. Bite beyond it. Whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> what? That is a meaty whoa. burger. Oh my, what? I am beyond excited. No, that is beyond anything that I expected. I don't know if it's because it was just beyond eating this, but this is beyond amazing. So I'm gonna bite beyond the first bite. You almost bit your thumb on the back of the burger. Oh. That was the deepest bite I've ever seen you take on the show. I didn't go beyond. You do know that we're eating more. The end of my thumb. A lot more. Clearly. That is really good. Beyond meat, beyond burger moves beyond this round. Hillary, you should sell this. Okay, for the semifinals, uh, all the burgers will be served Arbor Day style, which is just on plain buns, exposing them to a less protected flavor environment. Oh yeah, and, and we got Amy's Sonoma Veggie Burger versus the Boca All American Classic Meatless Burger. And let's let's just take a look at these lighter complexion, smaller as well. This one, I can see parts granules of stuff. Think it, think it. Hmm. It it has a cardboard like consistency. Yeah, it's dry too. Mm -hmm. Now that there's nothing else on there, I mean, you typically wouldn't eat a burger like this, but 
I don't remember why this moved on at this point because it's. Yeah, it's not holding very strong without the ingredients, the other, uh, the other <laughs> toppings. Oh, you're spinning out. I just can't eat so much of this. It's a bad time. Neither one of them are great. Let me just say that. Whichever one moves on is going to lose to something later. <laughs> Let's just but be real. This one holds its own, literally holds its own without all the help of the other toppings, much better than this one. Mm -hmm. So, while neither one of them is really thrilling me, I think Amy, you're moving on. The Beyond Meat Beyond Burger. And the Garden Burger, Black Bean Chipotle Veggie Burger. All right, get another taste of that Chipotle. Still like the crisp. It's still good. Nature. Mm -hmm. That's still a good burger. I would say very good burger. Very good burger. Say it. <laughs> it's a very good burger. Say it three times. Five it's times a, fast. It's a, it's a very good burger. That's one time. I said it once, five times as fast. Oh, I get it. But. Was it beyond good though? Baby. I remember you from the, <laughs> from the last round. Oh, it's, even it smells like a burger. I mean, it's it's greasy even in a good way. It's like magic. <laughs> what there's, happened? There's meat in here. Let's, yeah, there has to yeah. be. They've been putting meat in here mm -hmm. the whole time. Um, and it moves on. Definitely. Welcome to the Veggie Burger Championship round. And for this final matchup, the burgers will be served St. Patty's Day style. Right. Just patties, no bun. No condiments. The ultimate and truest taste test. I've got Amy's Sonoma over here. She made it to the finals. Congratulations, Amy. Mm-hmm. Of course, the Beyond Meat Beyond Burger is right here. Let's just hold these up and say that these are the two most expensive burgers. Amy's at two seventy-five a patty, and the Beyond Meat at three dollars and seventy-four cents a patty. Now I want to say, Amy, good for you. <laughs> you know, you 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 made it this far. Before we taste your your plain patty, once again, I wanna say no matter how this goes, congratulations for just making it to the end. Cause I do think that we've telegraphed how much we love this, but let's taste it, maybe we're wrong. Hmm, Amy is exposed. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking about Amy exposed, I was thinking about her burger being exposed for what it is, which is something that needs to be eaten along with other things. It's like a floppy survival situation. All right. Give me. Let's go beyond meat to the Beyond Burger. Even the way it interacts with the grill makes it look, makes it, yeah. now, again, we're it's, meat eaters, so we're, we're biased. I think that's an excellent point. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan and you're in the market for a burger such as these, you may not like this one because it's it approximates meat so well, that may not be your thing. And we recommend Amy's for that. Otherwise, boy, this is a this is a magical achievement. I've gone way beyond the amount of veggie burger that I thought I would eat. Just while you've been talking, I've almost finished this one. <laughs> so there we have it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you respond to me like that. <laughs> That's so supportive. <laughs> All right. So. What have we done? We have crowned Beyond Meat, Beyond Burger, the Veggie Burger Brian, right there. Congratulations, Beyond Burger, Beyond, what is it? Beyond Meat, Beyond Burger. You need a simpler name, but. How about Veggie Burger Brian? Hey, there it is. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 Thanks uh -huh. for liking, commenting, and subscribing. <laughs> you know what time it is. Hi, I'm Tirza. I'm Dan. I'm Whitley. I'm Wendy. I'm Abram. We're from Portland, Oregon. We're about to do the Blind Burger Taste Test Challenge. But first, it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel of mythicality. Woo! That's a fun family. Put on your blindfolds. Click the top link because we're about to do a taste test showdown between the Beyond Burger and the Impossible Burger in Good Mythical More. Let's see where the wheel lands. We've got a new show on Saturdays, which means we have a new tee at mythical.store. Grab the all new Let's Talk About That logo tee and wear it while you watch.